Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics, really interesting math challenge today, a lot of students fail to solve this question in their entrance in examination and in this video I want me to fully explain you how can we solve this question correctly. First of all we should bring all these uh, values, all these variables from right to left. So let's bring this 12 to from right to left. So we have x x square minus x x cube minus 12 equal to zero. Okay, we just bring this from, from right, right to left. Right now, we prefer in other order, we prefer the highest power on the left and the lowest power on the right. So let's bring this x cube from, from this middle position to left position. So doesn't matter, we have minus x cube. So with this minus, it's really important. Then plus x square, because all the time we have plus right here, yeah, plus x square and minus 12. We don't need to use this uh, minus on in the beginning, so we can easily multiply this both side by minus one. It is really important moment because it's really great to not to have this minus in the beginning. So we have x x cube minus x square, but we should uh, change all this sign in, in in every time. So we have x cube right here with minus to plus, then right here plus to minus minus x square and plus twelve equal to equal to zero. Okay, this is our cube cubic equation. What are we going to do next? There are a lot of methods, there are a lot of approaches, how can we solve this cubic equation? I want to show you this approach. First of all, let's try to think a little bit about this 12. How can we how can we express this 12? 11 plus 1, we can easily write it as 11, 11 plus 1, uh, we can easily write it as 6 plus 6, we can easily write it as 10 plus 2, we can easily write it uh, in a lot of ways, but the really important way for us is 8 plus 4. We can easily write this 12 as 8 8 plus 4. You ask me why? Okay, I answer you. Because 8 is equal to 2 cube and 2 4 is equal to 2 square. And this is really important expression for us because right now we can easily write this 12 as cube and square and then we can easily combine these, we can easily write it in another order and then we will have our formula. Okay, take a look. We have x, we have x cube minus x square and instead of 12 I write this 8 plus 4, so plus 8 plus 4 equal to equal to 0. Okay? Instead of this 884, as I told before, let's write 2 cube and 2 square. So we have x x cube minus x square plus 2 cube and plus 2 square equal to equal to 0. Okay, what we're going to do next? Let's try to group our cubes right here and right here and group our squares. Let's go right here. Let's do this right here. So we have x x cube plus 2 cube, yeah, plus 2 cube, minus x square, so minus x square, and plus 2 square. Okay, we just group our our expression with cubes and with squares. So right now we should know our formula. So a cube plus b cube, right here we have a sum of two cubes, so a cube plus b cube. This is our formula, this is equal to, so a plus b, and we multiply it by a square minus a b and plus plus b square. This is our formula. I put it in these uh, lines. Yeah, this is our really important formula, our cubic cubic formula. We really need this right now. So let's do this. Our cube, our cube formula. And right here we get it inside inside parentheses. So our step is to uh, to add these two cubes with this formula. So we have x plus two. So we have x plus two. Yeah. And inside parentheses, x square minus 2x and plus and plus 4. Okay, we just apply this cube formula to this to this expression. Okay, to this expression we apply cube formula. And of course, minus inside parentheses, if you put minus, then we can easily we, we should change this sign. So minus and inside parentheses x square minus 2 square. And it's really brilliant moment because this is our b b difference of squares. So we still have this uh, same expression, but if you know a little bit about, about this formula, we can easily write it as a, a square minus b square, which is equal to a minus b or a plus b doesn't matter. In our case, let's go with minus a minus b times a plus a plus b. Okay, and let's apply this formula right here. This is our difference, difference of squares. So we have x plus 2, so the same beginning, yeah, we have x plus 2 and x square minus 2x and plus 4, and right here we have minus x minus 2 and x plus 2, which is equal to 0. Okay, right now if we look closely, x plus 2 right here, so we can easily factor it, and x plus 2, 
x plus 2 right here. So we can easily factor this x plus 2. Let's do this. Let's factor it. So we have x plus 2, x plus 2 right here. And I use another bracket. So right here we have these brackets minus this uh, difference x minus 2. So we have x square minus 2x plus 4 and minus x but plus 2 because we open our parentheses minus x and plus 2. Okay, in other, in other parentheses, yeah, equal to 0. So we let's simplify this a little bit. So we have minus 2x minus x minus 3x and right here plus 6. So we have x plus 2 and we multiply it by x square minus 3x and plus 6 equal to 0. Okay, brilliant. So here is our here is our challenge right now. We have this product, and from here, of course, first parenthesis is equal to zero, and the second parenthesis is equal to zero. So x plus two equal to zero. From here, x equal to minus two. From here, x square minus three x plus six equal to zero. But I feel that right here we have negative solution. So x square minus three x plus six equal to zero, and I feel like our discriminant will be will be negative. I feel like our discriminant will be maybe minus 15, yeah, minus 15, which is less than zero. So we have two complex roots. So let's write our answer right here. So we have our x equal to minus two, but where can I write our answer? Let's go right here. So our answer, our answer, x equal to minus two. And this is x first and x second and third. This is complex, complex, complex roots complex roots. Okay, this is our answer to this challenge. A lot of students fail to solve this on the, in their entrance examination, so this is my solution to this challenge completely. As you can see with this area of this step, you can easily pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Look at this, my uh, look at my explanation to this challenge. And of course, this is really great training challenge because we remember about cube formula, about quadratic formula, about really interesting approaches, about grouping elements, about evaluating. So this is really important moment. So thank you for your time, have a great day, see you in the next videos. And of course, if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe, and that definitely helped me out for this particular video. So thank you for your time, have a great day.